All right, so let's look at a combination circuit. So now there are some that are in series and some that are in parallel. So I'm just going to name this one R1, R2, R3. Sorry, my R looks like a B. All right, and the current's going to come out of here, and that will be I total, right? And it's going to split and be I1, and then there'll be some current here that we'll just call like I23, all right? So I23 goes through both of those. I1 goes through here, and these two pieces add up to be I total. So we have to start by kind of combining this circuit down. So let's start by looking at how we would do that. We're going to start here at the back, and we need to combine these two series resistors first. And we're going to get, to get the R23, it's going to be R2 plus R3. So R23 is going to be 330 plus 330. And on a good day, I think that is about um, 660. Okay, so now we've made the circuit look like this. Okay, 12 volts here, 330 here, and 660 here. And the current's going to flow out here, then split. Now these two are in parallel, so R1, and this is what we'll call R23. So we need to combine them to get the equivalent resistance. Is going to be 1 over 330 plus 1 over 660. Okay, so which is that going to be, guys? Is it going to be smaller than 660, but bigger than 330, or smaller than 330 and 660? It's going to be smaller than 330 and 660. So when I do that on my calculator, I do 1 divided by 330 plus 1 divided by 660, and I get 1 over R. 1, 2, 3 is equal to 0 0.004545. That's actually what the units would look like divided by ohms. So that works out to be 220 ohms. All right? So now the circuit looks like this. And I can find I total, right? So let's go back and think about that. Um, now I can just use Ohm's law and V equals IR. So when I rearrange that, I get I equals V divided by R. And so I is going to be equal to 12 volts divided by 220 ohms. it's going to be 0 0.054 amps. All right. So now I can begin to think about the, as I went backwards, okay, so now I'm going to work back to this problem. So I'm going to go in and fill in another example here, another little drawing. So remember that the step before, this was our equivalent circuit. And this one was 660, right? So we know that 
the current coming out of here is 0 0.0545 amps. But we know that the voltage drop across that piece and that piece, because they're parallel branches, is 12 volts. So V1 equals the voltage drop against 2, 3, because this was, remember we said R2, 3, this one's R1. Okay, so now we know V, we know R, we can find how that current breaks up, and we can do I1 is equal to, remember that V equals IR, so I equals V over R. I1 equals V over R1, so I1 is equal to 15 volts divided by 330 ohms, and I1 is equal to, oops, sorry, it's 12 volts, 12 volts, it's a 12 volt problem, 0 0.0364 amps, okay? So let's try it again with I23. Okay, and when we look at I23, it's going to be the voltage drop divided by R23. So the current in that branch, because the resistance is more, we expect the current to be less, so it's 12 volts divided by 660. And when I do that, 